Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Projectionist vlog. My name is Eve, I'm your host. And uh, before I get into talking about whatever I'm gonna talk about, um, I just wanna note that this is the first Projectionist vlog of 2020, the first Projectionist vlog of the new decade of the 2020s. And since it's 2020, um, and this coming June, I'm gonna do a special episode uh, talking about my 20th anniversary in the movie theater industry. Wow, I can't believe it's 20 years. Um, you know, it feels like it was yesterday that I just started. Um, but it's, I'm going to talk, talk about a lot of cool stuff and how the industry has changed uh, in the past 20 years. So, all right, uh, let's get to it. So today, to celebrate the uh, release, this Friday is the release of the third Bad Boys movie called Bad Boys for Life. And to celebrate that, I'm going to talk about running Bad Boys 2 on 35mm film, which came out 17 years ago on, in uh, July, uh, July 18th it came out. So um, it's the only Bad Boys movie that I ran on 35mm film, and it's the first Michael Bay movie that I ran on 35mm film. Um, obviously the first one I did not run because that was uh, eight years prior to Bad Boys 2. That was 1995. Uh, yeah, I believe it was eight years. Um, uh, I was in middle school. So uh, I did see that in the theaters though uh, with my mom at Movie Land uh, where I ended up running Bad Boys 2. Um, and that was a great experience. That was April of 95. I believe it was Easter weekend. I saw it on a Sunday. Uh, great movie, awesome experience. And the third one's coming out, but I believe that's digital. I don't think there's any film prints for that. And uh, the theater that I'm currently working at, we're not getting that. We did get a poster, and my bosses were kind enough to give me a poster for Bad Boys for Life. So, um, all right. Um, so, summer of 2003, it was kind of a mixed summer. Uh, you had a lot of uh, disappointments. You had the, you know, the Matrix Reloaded kind of turned people off. Uh, Terminator 3 was pretty bad. Charlie's Angels was pretty bad. Hulk was pretty bad. Um, I enjoyed movies like uh, SWAT, Hollywood Homicide, um, and Bad Boys 2. And there were uh, a couple of Disney movies that came out that were pretty popular. Um, uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 1, the first one, and Finding Nemo. Yep. So um, a lot of movies made money that summer. But I feel that the best movie to me in the summer of 2003 was Bad Boys 2. Um, and I thought it was like really busy. And it was pretty, pretty, the box office was up there with the other films uh, that came out, you know, Pirates and, and Matrix Reloaded. And I remember uh, this opened on a Friday, not a Wednesday, because in the summertime there's some Wednesday releases. But this was a Friday. And this is one of the last movies to uh, kind of close out the summer. This was late July. And um, a few weeks after the release of Bad Boys 2 was the release of Freddy vs. Jason. That was like the final, um, you know, big film to, to end the summer of 2003. And a uh, little, little bit of trivia about the, the in, in between um, Bad Boys 2 and Freddy vs. Jason, there was a, a huge uh, incident in America that happened that occurred um, at that time. Um, you know, I believe it was the week Freddy vs. Jason was coming out, and that was the big uh, blackout on the Upper East Coast, which lasted for like 24 to 48 hours, I guess, depending on where you were. Um, but yeah. Uh, I remember I was uh, in at work and I was about to do some stuff and um, I remember uh, before I had work I had like an hour to kill uh, I walked into theater 5 at this point Bad Boys 2 started moving into the small theaters uh, because it was you know the, the, it made most of its money the first weekend but it still did well after that and I wanted to catch the opening of the movie and I remember standing in the back of the theater and seeing the Columbia Pictures logo and the Don Simpson, Jerry Bruckheimer uh, logo, which is from the 90s, but they used it specifically for this release. And I think the new Bad Boys has that logo as well, um, you know, to pay tribute to the late Don Simpson. And uh, I remember hearing the Trevor Rabin music, the score that was playing, and it, the music started slowing down and the image started getting darker. And then uh, screen went black, lights turned off, 
and then the emergency lights went on and i was like oh what's what's going on and we walk out in the lobby all the theaters are down apparently all the stores in the surrounding area are down and then we find out there was a huge blackout um so it was pretty bad um but Freddy vs. jason did open up that 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 weekend you know they, they got the power up so uh yeah i ran this on 35 millimeter film it was a very hot summer um and it was busy like i said it was uh really busy uh, a lot of sold out shows um and even after the first weekend uh i believe we had two prints we had one print in the big theater and one print in a small house um and and it had a good run for about five to six weeks um and yeah it did great people loved it uh it was you know very uh the critics hated it but uh the audience like loved it um and it was a super ridiculous movie i remember it just was like so out out of control but i remember running it as a projectionist i would start other movies and then uh, when i had time i tried to uh try to catch some some scenes like you know the car chase on the bridge or like the club scene or uh you know like like the the whole action scene in cuba it was all awesome and uh you know it was one of the best movies i've like you know like ever ran on film like i enjoyed running this and and you know saying to people yeah i ran that when it first came out um and it was long too i remember you know for a buddy co cop for a buddy comedy um it was really long it was like two and a half hours i think it was seven or eight reels um around there um, I didn't build the movie up, but I did have to break it down. And I remember just putting the reels in the, 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 the I think it was the boxes, not the cans. I don't remember um, too well. I'm trying to remember the best I can. But uh, yeah, it was really long. So, um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a really busy movie. And surprisingly, it outdid <laughs> the, the Matrix and Terminator. You know, those were the two highly anticipated movies. And, uh, you know this turned out to be like way better you know even though it's michael bay you know he's got a very crazy directing style but uh, i have a couple souvenirs from bad boys uh, of bad boys from the industry um let's see here i have the very first uh released trailer on 35 millimeter film which this trailer played before, I believe it was Tears of the Sun with Bruce Willis, which came out in March of 03. Um, or maybe it was Basic. I think it was Tears of the Sun. And, you know, ironically, they're two uh, military thrillers, but uh, I think it was Tears of the Sun. Uh, but yeah, this trailer played before an audience, and uh, I've had it. I've held on to it for a while, and it's still in good condition. I ran it pretty recently. Um, I don't have the label because obviously the heads and tails are cut, but here you go. Look at that. It's a scope trailer. I marked it 2003. I even wrote the, um, I even wrote the, uh, the two. There we go. Eve, my name. So yeah, I wrote the two just the way they advertise it in the trailer. This is a great trailer. I love this. Uh, this has the BT song. Um, the techno song by BT in it. It's really cool. And I have an unused uh, trailer. And this was an extra copy, but another version just like this. This is really short. This is like a minute. This trailer uh, version played before Terminator 3. So this was like a final promotion for the film. They marked it as trailer 2, but, um, you know, look at that. Bad Boys 2, Scope, Columbia Pictures. And it's a cool trailer. You can find find these on YouTube, um, just if you want to see them. So, I got... Uh, now, from a, a collector standpoint, this is a 35mm trailer. Look at that. This is almost three minutes. Uh, this is for Bad Boys 1. I got this off eBay. Um, when I bought it, it never ran before. Um, it was like, I opened it up, I inspected it, and it looked great. And I ran it. Um, and I filmed it too when I ran it. Uh, it's a couple videos back from this uh, projectionist vlog. But uh, I ran this, and um, it looked great. 
it was really it's really cool like having like the the like an original like trailer like this so you know original trailers are pretty hard to find but uh yeah i have a bad boys trailer so um all right everybody um thank you very much for watching um please subscribe uh share like comment be sure to hit that notification bell uh, to see more videos just like this. And this is an 80s Die Hard production. Thank you very much. And if everybody's going to go see, uh, if anyone's going to go see Bad Boys for Life this weekend, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's good. Even though I know Michael Bay's not directing it. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Thanks again. I'll see everybody later. Bye.